Yo, what's up guys, how you doing? <clears throat> Sorry about the uh, motherfucking ass going late so late. <laughs> or going live so late. I was actually supposed to go live yesterday and, and fucking drive uh, with you guys, like I said, on the fucking Mixer stream. But I ended up not doing that because we ended up leaving at like 6 a.m. I didn't fucking sleep and I was so exhausted. But whatever, we're fucking just going to drive back now. So basically we drove to Missouri from Texas to drop off Kimberly's cat. Because obviously when we go to Europe, uh, we can't have the animals at the fucking house. So we dropped off her cat with somebody who will watch it in Missouri. And now we're driving back to Texas. We're currently in fucking Arkansas, Jacksonville, Arkansas right now. Because we uh, we actually picked up one of her friends to help us drive. And he's on like a fucking base, like a military base out here in Arkansas. And it's like in between, so I didn't have to drive 12 fucking hours. So instead, I'm driving seven and a half hours. So that's amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? But hey, I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. How the fuck is everybody doing, though? Thank you, boys. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, I know. Fucking... Yo, by the way, how's the audio sound? Is it uh, fucking weird? Because I have the the alerts on Bluetooth. So maybe the Bluetooth is making the, the audio kind of like scuffed or something. I don't really fucking know. Uh, just let me know. But yeah, no, I've been streaming, so as you guys know, I've been streaming on Mixer for the past week, and uh, I think my decision here, before I, I'm, I'm going to tweet out, you know, like, the plan here, my decision, or whatever and the fuck, but I think I'm going to do uh, alternate between YouTube and Mixer, because, uh, you know, until I get partnered on Mixer, I can't just stream on there exclusively, because I fucking, you know what I mean, you, I, I just motherfucking, you, I can't, dude, you know what I mean, so... I'm probably going to do alternating, like YouTube one day, Mixer another day, etc. Go back and forth like that, at least until uh, I get partner on there. Then I'll figure out what, you know, where to go from there, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes, I suppose. Yeah, I was originally this was going to be a member stream. We might put it in member-only uh, chat in a little bit. I don't really know. I'm not putting it in member-only right now because, you know, I can say what's up to people who have not been watching on Mixer, so, you know, that's all good. How many of you guys do not fuck with Mixer? And how many of you guys do fuck with it? Because if we do this whole EU trip and I get this like RV thing, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get this like the, an RV or like a van or like some kind of car. If we could drive across Europe, do a road trip in Europe. So if we do that, it's probably going to be on YouTube and Mixer. Um, you know, we'll see how that goes. Like I said, if I get partnered on there, though, I, I really do like the platform, so I'm going to have to really think about the stats here, the statistics, how many people rather watch on YouTube versus Mixer, what the organic growth on Mixer is, and etc. You know what I mean? So we'll have to see how that goes. You gave up on after a few days? Well, if you have any real uh, criticisms, let me know of what's, so, you know what's bad about it. So I don't care if you're like, I just want you back on Twitch. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Fucking, what happened to Members Day? I'll put it in Members Only in a little bit. I just want to say what's up to the people who have not seen it. No rewind? You, you, there is rewind on Mixer. You have to right-click the video player and click Control. Uh, control the thing, like controller or something. And then you can rewind, yeah. You can't do that on mobile, though. No, unfortunately. <clears throat> oh, by the way, how's the mic sound? I have a case on my phone. So I fixed my phone. I have a case on it now. So, I don't know, does the microphone sound like it is uh, muffled or something? Because I, I don't know if the case is muffling the microphone or what. Either that or it's the Bluetooth, I'm not really sure, to be honest. It's muffled, okay, let me take this, let me take it out of the case, hold on. One second, let me take it out of the case, and that would probably fix that issue. Let me, how do I take this fucking case off? I just don't want to break this case. I need it. This is the only thing to keep my phone not broken. <laughs> Yo, does that sound any better? <laughs> Alright, let me put this back here. Oh man, let me show you where I'm at. I'm literally, I got the back camera fixed too. Look at that, amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Bro, we gotta get gas. Gas here is $2.19. That's so, that's so cheap, dude. That's mad cheap. We're in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, dude. Fucking drove 12 hours to drop a fucking cat off, dude. Yo, what's up? How dare you betray your faithful YouTube members for Mixer? 
Mixer is gay and scuffed and always lagging. How would you feel if Kim cheated on you like that? Disappoint. It's so loud. Hello. CX in the chat. Do you really feel cheated on with that? Come on. That's ridiculous, but thank you, Trigger. I appreciate it. Now, come on, you baldo. That's inst that's ridiculous, bro. How you doing? Good. Sorry for the short intermission. No, that's fine. Are you ready for this seven and a half hour drive mm -hmm. back to fucking tech? We're going to get... Dude, we're going to get back at fucking 5.30 in the goddamn morning, so that's fucking terrible. Or no, 5 o'clock in the morning or something like that. I don't really know. Uh, yesterday, I didn't sleep at all. I got like one hour of sleep, and it was fucking awful. Driving is just terrible, and I hate it. Even though I didn't really drive that much yesterday because her friend helped out, but Alright, yo, fucking Let's go get gas and then let's let's take this drive. Let me see. They locked the bathroom and then I had to wait for them to unlock. Who locked the bathroom an hour before closing? Uh you know they gotta keep the the Arkansas crackheads out. I can only assume this Arkansas has so many crackheads. Especially this part. We're in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean? So I like YouTube because of Mixer notifications, but I also like how Mixer has sparks from watching streams. Yeah, that was the main thing. That I, that's that's the main issue I had with Mixer. The notifications are not great. Because unless you have the Mixer app open, you have no idea that I'm live. I did a test the other day to see how many people would actually get Mixer notifications if I didn't tweet out the link or anything. And the majority of people had no idea I was even live for like two hours. So that was awful. Um, you know, because I don't want to just go live on YouTube every fucking time I want to go on Mixer. Or tweet out every fucking time either. So, you know what I mean? It, it, that's like a big concern there. But like I said, that's, you know, something that can't be fixed, I guess. Especially, I mean, there's a lot of drama going on with Twitch and all this shit right now. So Mixer's getting a lot of attention. So definitely not a good idea to, or definitely not, not a good idea to give up on it. Alright, let me see. Audio's, what's wrong with the fucking audio, dude? popping noise. I think it's the Bluetooth. I think that's the issue here. Let me do this. Yo, is that any better? Or maybe it was the fucking... It's not the phone holder. The phone holder is not going to cause popping issues. Oh, vibration. Yeah. No, that could have been from... I don't know what it said. Can you open my stream? I just need to see what it's... I need to hear what it sounds like. So I know what the issue is here. Vi yeah, it's, it's probably vibration from the car then. Ah, interesting. Well, I don't know how to stop the vibration because it's it's on a phone holder for the car. So do I hold it the whole time? No, let me just hear what it sounds like. No, let me just hear what it sounds like. No, let me just hear what it sounds like. Hold on. Uh, let me turn the car on and go for a drive. One second. Why is this? Don't, don't, don't echo. Don't echo, don't echo. Alright. Don't echo, don't echo. Echo, one second. Alright, don't echo. Oh, what is that? Okay. It's like you're uh, pretending to have a phone call. Okay, no, it's the, it's the car, it's, okay. If I take it off the stand, tell me if there's, oh, ah! fuck, Jesus. <laughs> tell me if there's a vibration now. Oh, no, I'm sorry, ears, I really just killed them. No, that's fine. Is that, is there still that weird fucking sound, or is it better? Alright, so it's, fuck. I, let me put this on the windshield. There probably won't be any vibration if I put the phone holder on the windshield instead of the, the dashboard. No, uh, Stevie just said something wrong with the engine. Not true. I just checked my car. Something wrong with the engine? That's, not true, Stevie. That's not. Yeah, that's bullshit. All right, yo, let me let me take this off here. What the fuck? Oh God. Oh, it's probably not gonna work anymore. Um, oh, here, hold this okay. for a second. Hmm. This is, hmm, okay. This thing was $30 at Best Buy, should be good. Should be good enough to hold on the windshield. Huh. 
Yeah, the ball's not strong enough to hold the phone up. This is always a problem with these fucking things. Well, the ball is not strong enough to hold the ball, the, the fucking phone. What were you going to call it? The ball sack. Alright, so what I'm going to do is never, hmm, I don't know. Did you see your lap the whole time? What you're going to do is hold the phone and be my, my phone monkey today. Look, I can use my hair tie and it'll tie it up. Wait. Yeah, use the hair tie. No, I have a better off. idea. I have a better idea. This is what EDZ does. He's a fucking genius. He, he fucking uses a rubber band. Yeah. And he ties it to the rear view mirror. You can't see that. Well, I can see. I have two. I have these two, and I can still see out of half of it. It's fine. <laughs> I just fixed it. Where did it go? Yeah, hold on. There's got to be. There's, there's got to be. Wait, where's the stream? Over there. Sorry, we dropped you. Hold on, just hold it for a second. Let me figure this out. Let me figure this out. Okay. We should probably, I can go to this inside the store and buy a rubber band real quick. Honestly. Hmm. But I, hmm, I spent $30 on this phone holder. It doesn't even work. Fucking vibration. What if I moved it? Maybe it's just right here. What if I moved it like over here? It was never vibrating in the other truck, right? Why don't you put it right here like you had it? Here, hold this. Mm -hmm. I mean, the other truck doesn't count. The whole thing was squeaking and bouncing. And... That was a whole other thing. Alrighty. Put this here. Okay. Okay. And then... Challenge. No, we're gonna have EBZ angles. <sighs> Listen. Kimberly. I'm holding it. No, I can I can't read the chat if you hold it. I'll read you the chat in the chat's voice. How the fuck do these other people do this shit? Hmm. I guess I could just be EBZ and fucking put it here. Fucking drive like this. <laughs> But I, you know, I know, I know he thinks it's okay, but I don't think, I don't think this is the way to, I don't think this is the one to do. I don't think this is it. Wait, raid my ceiling, guys. Yeah, it's a great ceiling right here. You got the, yeah, you got everything you need. All right, yeah, but hold up, seriously, we gotta, I'm just gonna go inside the store and buy a rubber band. Just real quick, all right? Here, let me, uh, get my wallet. Hold a sec. Alrighty, I don't know if they have rubber bands in here, but I guess we'll see. Hopefully they fucking do. To be honest, the internet out here is pretty good for the middle of nowhere, Arkansas. So I had like 30 upload, which is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, what's up, bro? Yeah, sure. That was that was quick. Just walked in. He's like, oh, I know him. I saw you standing in the car over there. Dope. <laughs> Do you have some rubber bands by chance? Yeah. Thanks, dude. Yeah, this is probably good. Uh, thank you. Alrighty. Fucking, hey, what do you know? Even in the middle of nowhere, the fucking cashier dog. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Paid actor, scripted. I fucking paid his ass. Give me rubber bands. All right. Let me fucking do this. My donor got. See All right, hold on. Let me uh, see. I want to suck that D. How you doing? Oh, thank. Thank you so much, Mr. Status. I appreciate it, homie. All right. Let's put this like here, and then let's put this. There's no rain damage. I fixed my phone, so there's no water. We replaced the, all the parts in the phone. 
All right, yo, what's up? All right, this is so scuffed, but I think it works. Let's uh, put gas in the car and we're good. But I can't, I can't really take the phone off of this without it being fucking annoying. So I'm just gonna leave the phone on here. I'm gonna put gas in the car real quick, okay? Um, in the meantime, Kimberly will talk to you. At least I can do that now. Hello, I will be um, just give me, the stand-in entertainment. Just give me two minutes. All right, here, you want a you want an ice cube? All right, two minutes. Okay, let's try to... Okay, hi there. Um, I don't have any makeup on today. And I, like, didn't do my hair, so but that's okay. Is the car on? Yeah, sure was. Don't we, like, die if you put the car, or, like, gas in the car and it's, like, on? Like, I think something bad happens. But I don't really know. Okay, so, hi. How is everyone today? Um, we have still a lot of hours of driving, and he's like in a better mood because we just ate. And he's like dead. Um, I don't know, like, how do I... I want to see where everyone is with chat. But it doesn't really... It doesn't update as quickly as I can see it. Oh, people are saying nice things saying I looked good today. Thank you so much. That's very sweet of you. Um, where are you guys going? We're going back to Texas because... We just had to drop my cat off so someone could take care of her because we're going to be gone for like three weeks and it's a long time for um, someone else to take care of her because she'll be like home alone so someone's here like once a day. I told her we should just put the cat inside of a bag of food. Uh, he didn't say that. And then we leave the cat in a bag of food for three weeks. The cat can't eat all the food, okay? So then the cat is good. He's fat. He's good. It's a she. Whatever. It's chilling, and you know it's all good. As Snoopy goes to the dog hotel, easy, easy fucking work. So I don't know. <laughs> that person's a good idea. You know, I had I had this guy watch Snoopy while we're gone for two days driving. I had this fucking dude, and uh, I got him from an app on the phone, and he fucking stole the front door house key. Like, it's the, the house key, the other person that is scheduled to watch him can't get in the house. So, the dude stole the house key, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, Snoopy's probably shitting all over the fucking house right now as we drive home. Which is awful, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Robbed. I mean, that's what I'm thinking, but I don't know. I'm more concerned about shit being on the floor when I get home, because nobody to fucking walk him. Thank you, Oscar. Appreciate it. Kind of that guy stealing the key kind of fucked uh, the other person that's supposed to walk him. So whatever. It fucked us. So let's just get home. Why don't you have surveillance cameras? Uh, you know I probably should. All right, let me check the gas. One second. You're like my eye candy. You know that? Get the streams eye candy. Okay, go chat. I'm, I'm not eye candy. I like literally have no makeup on. No, no, chat. Even with no makeup, isn't she fucking beautiful? We'll just watch him. Bro, I'm telling you, even without... We'll try to zoom in listen, on your sweatpants bro, listen, when you walk Even away. without makeup, you're amazing. No, go, go. We'll, we'll go look. You know most girls without makeup do not even look good. But you, on the other That's hand... Not true. Bruh, you're looking mad fun. Thank you. Alright, walk away. We're gonna watch you. All right, let me turn on the car so you TTS can't get scammed here. Okay. Okay. Hi, Kim. Thank you, Enza. Appreciate it. All right, yo, let's fucking go. Can you map to Texas, please? So we have seven and a half hours in front of us here. So this is going to be fucking terrible. I'm not looking forward to this. I don't like driving, let alone seven hours of driving. Um, we slept in a hotel last night. It was scuffed as fuck. It was the, the, the hotel, the elevator okay, didn't work. Did elevator didn't work. Yeah, the, the audio is better, right? There's no vibration. So thank you, dude. Yeah, I'll turn on the member uh, only chat in a little bit, dude. So. I'm just talking to chat right now. 
without it so we can uh, you know talk to people that have not been watching on Mixer so yo let's fucking God. so when we go to Europe that's still not for another month so we're planning on leaving probably like September 8th or somewhere around there like, sep like September something around the 8th um I'm currently looking for uh, like a some kind of thing to drive, like a car, an RV. Or what the fuck are they looking at? Us. Why are they looking at us? Because we have our own place. They're not looking at us. And, oh, I think it's because they're like dancing and singing, and I think that they thought that we saw them and they were embarrassed. Oh, okay, they're just that's fucking they're weird. They're just being girls. Yeah, I think I think you got some competition right now. Yeah, some random uh, random Arkansas girls. <laughs> There's nothing to be concerned about there. Alright. <laughs> Take a left right here? Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to get like a RV, like a car, like a van, something to drive across Europe. So I'm looking for stuff right now. It's, uh, I have someone on it to help me look for this kind of stuff, so hopefully it's uh, not too expensive. Uh, I wanted to try to talk to them. We went away. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> I would not want to date a girl from Arkansas, dude. I feel like everyone in certain states is scuffed. Like, I feel like the women in Arkansas could be scuffed. You know what I mean? It's very, like, generalized. Well, I mean, because they live in the woods. Arkansas is the middle of the woods. So, I feel like when you live in the woods, you start to become one with the woods. You know, they're, they're basically like woods people, you know? Like, maybe instead of putting a concealer on, they put mud in their face. You know, like woodsy people. Or something like that. I don't really know. <clears throat> yes, I'm still doing Mixer. I'm just, uh, um, we're just doing a member, you, we're doing a member license. stream today. What? Why is this off? Do you have the license? Why is what off? What, what are you looking at? Just this part. I guess these are on and it's darker. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we're doing a member stream today, so that's why, uh, I'm fucking on YouTube. Hold up. How do I do the Bluetooth on here? You can't be driving when you set that up. Can you turn off your Bluetooth? On your phone? Yeah, but to connect yours, you can't be driving. I know. Remember? I'm about to get to a red light. Turn your Bluetooth, please. I don't think mine's on. Oh, I can see your phone. It says off. Your phone's connected to it. No, it's not. Alright, well, it says your phone's connected. I might lag a little bit when we drive. It's, I mean, we are going into the middle of nowhere. <laughs> the highway is the middle of nowhere. So, yeah. So you're, it says that it's connected there. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is No, it's already, I had it connected. Okay, um... That should work, I think. You're welcome. Thank you. I think that's good. Don't, no, I'm reading chat. I'm just trying to do something right now. Sorry. Pulling up an ice with, and you're gonna. Okay, thank you, dude. You fucking try that. Thank you. All right. We're good. All right. So where do I go? Oh, you should be able to right click it and then click sh the computer. It should work. I think that should be, uh, it should work though. But I mean, I don't know. I've tried it myself on the computer and it works. So, you know what I mean? I think it should be okay. I mean, other people seem to, uh, it seems to work for them. So I don't know. I think you have to be on Chrome too. I don't, I'm not really too sure. I think you're right. Left. All right. Let's see. Do you guys have any issues with the rewind stuff on Mixer? Because most people say they can do it. And like I said, it's probably gonna lag as we drive through the 
highway, so just bear with me. There are some parts where it's like 30 minutes of like shitty ass internet, so you just got to bear with me here. You can rewind on Safari, well then that's good. That's perfect, man. By the way, that guy donated media. Um, fucking media doesn't work, so I don't recommend donating media. <clears throat> yeah, I tried to get it to work, but it fucking just doesn't. Yeah, we we're pretty dead, though. We've been in the car so far today for fucking six hours. And then yesterday, we were in the car for 12 hours, so... It's pretty fucking disgusting, to say the least. Oh, yeah, I may have gotten media to work. It's boxy! Hmm, but there's no volume. Why is, why is it so hot here? Holy shit. Uh, okay. I don't know. Your media's working, but there's no fucking volume, so I don't know. It's fucking scuffed, dude. I don't know how EBC does it. I wanna hear this one. And by the way, it's like pretty moderated, so don't don't try any fucking weird shit, but Yeah, I don't know how EBC does this shit. I guess my phone is just scuffed. Or my app is scuffed. Yeah, we're just going straight in the middle of nowhere. So there's not really... There's nothing around here. It's just trees. It's just fucking dirt, trees, and nothing. So, you know what I mean? It's not even a pretty road to, to look at when we drive. It's just dirt and trees. Not even good trees. Like, dead fucking weird trees. And no mountains and cornfields and shit. So, it's pretty bad. How are you feeling? Uh, a little car sick, but I'm okay. I mean, it's not as bad as EBC, right? No, not as bad. Well, then that's all that matters. My driving's not that bad. I mean, I don't know. Maybe a little car sick there because I was going slow trying to fix that, but it uh, should be good now. EBC doesn't read shit when he drives. Well, that's probably good. <laughs> what do you mean? Although, we're just pretty much going straight on like a fucking middle of nowhere road, so it's not that hard to... I can drive straight and then glance over every so often and see a chat. And we're stopping now, so it's good. We're Snoopy. He's at the house. We'll be, uh, we'll see him later today. We had somebody go watch him and walk him and stuff like that, so he's not just... He's not sitting in the house by himself, don't worry. We had somebody take care of him. Or like walk them or whatever, but they still a house key, so I don't know what's CX going on. in the chat. I don't know what's happened with them. Thank you, dude, for the member, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you, dog. There's a spider on my neck. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, there's not, dude. There's fucking no spiders here. <laughs> we made sure there's no fucking insects in the car, dude. I'm a beta nowadays. Thank you, dude. I'm. What can I say, bro? I got some estrogen in my blood now. All right, we gotta get past these cars. Kind of like calm down. They're going mad slow. But you trying if to? They're going like the limit. Are you trying to get home in seven and a half hours, or are you trying to get home in eight hours? I'm just trying to get home without you having another ticket. When, when have I ever had a ticket? Like all the time. No, I had three tickets, but two of them were bullshit. Okay. And I got them all only within one month. But the rest of the year, no, no other tickets. I know. Was that the only month out of the year that you were driving? No. I mean, it was just bad luck. I swerved in another lane, ticket. Holding my phone in my hand, ticket. Those two are the bullshit. And then there was a third one where I was fucking, uh, you know, speeding. Like 20 miles over. But I'm not speeding now, so I'm not going to get a ticket. You know what I mean? I'm only going 40 right now. In like a fucking 40. So it's not a big deal. Why is Ice driving? Uh, so we're, we're driving back from Missouri. Had to drop her cat off. So the cat has somewhere to fucking... Has someone to look after her when we travel. And then uh, we're driving home now. Fucking Texas. Yesterday was all day of driving. So I didn't go live. I, was, I had one hour of sleep. I, there was no way I could stream and drive. I was so exhausted. I was so fucking tired. I thought we were leaving uh, at night. But we ended up leaving at like 6am. So it was pretty bad. 
my PDO was scammed. No more Mixer? No, I'm still I'm still streaming on Mixer. We're just uh, doing, I mean, I'm alternating between the two at the moment. At least until I get partner on Mixer, you know, we'll see what happens. I need a, I need partner on Mixer. I can't stream on Mixer without partner because you fucking, you, you know, you make no fucking income on there uh, as a streamer unless you're partner, which is not good because people would rather use Sparks than donate. So it's like, you can't just stream on it full time if streaming is your full time job. You know, if you have a, if you have a full time job and you want to stream in your free time, that makes more sense. But until I get partner, I can't just exclusively stream on Mixer. Tell me why you were at the gas station with my dad. I don't know what you're talking about. What the one we were just at? We, what do you mean we were getting gas? I don't know what gas station you're talking about. Didn't know you were on Mixer for a week. Yeah, I was <laughs> streaming on there for a week so far. So, and when, like I said, we're going to go back and forth between the two. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to crash. Don't worry. My driving is amazing. And if anything, if we crash, it's a fucking truck. So, he'll get more of the damage than we will. No, that's not how it works at all. Yeah, because the truck is higher and the car is low. So, you we go under the car. Also, when you stop at pit stop, make the rubber bands tighter. I hear vibrations. I mean, we could try to make the rubber bands tighter, but I, it should be fine. I mean, the phone's not even moving. I think if I put this in between it, there will be, like, um... That might help. Okay, does this help, guys? Or is this worse? Hold on, hold on. There's... Ah. Yeah, they're saying it's good. Yeah, it's a red light, I see it. Don't worry. Why are the likes and dislikes turned off? Uh, because they're fucking useless and shit. <laughs> That's why. Let me see. Mixer is trash. First thing I see is a tranny applying makeup. You're going full SJW. Thank you so much. No, I think Mixer's a really good streaming platform, actually. Thank you so much. Alright, let Kim drive. I mean, I don't think she wants to drive seven and a half hours, though. I have to be the man and do it. I mean, I'll, we might switch. Yeah, I'll drive part of it. We might do like a, like a half and half kind of thing. I don't really know. Yeah, for media gets scammed, I'm sorry. Fucking disclaimer, media will probably not work. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> Yeah, but the kind of viewers that Bone Clinks and Blade gets are not the viewers that I want. Uh, so I'm kind of, I'm, I'm glad that they have their viewers because if they didn't have those viewers, then I would still have, I'd be still having to deal with them right now, honestly. And I really don't want to deal with those kind of viewers. But thank you so much. Now, if I wanted to deal with those kind of viewers, I could easily get those viewers to watch my stream. It's not very hard. All I have to do is, you know, degenerate shit. But I'd rather not do that. I'd rather have people that watch me because they care about me, not because they're watching me to do degenerate shit. And that's not everybody. But the majority of people who are watching Blade sleep probably want Blade to do things that are not healthy for him. So, you know, I pay my respects, but I do not want to be a part of that. How they made uh, hoaxes to cover up the Epstein uh, suicide thing. I think that's all bullshit. El Paso was clearly not a hoax. And Epstein probably committed suicide. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? All these conspiracy theories are always pretty funny, but they're not accurate whatsoever. 
Like, no, Epstein probably committed suicide because he's a millionaire, a multi-millionaire, who doesn't want to go to fucking prison for the rest of his life. It has nothing to do with Hillary Clinton or fucking the government or anything like that. That's ridiculous. If I was a multi-millionaire, I would not want to go to prison for the next 40 years. That would be awful. out uh, come on he's not getting stuck out the government's not sneaking dudes out of prison to fucking fit an agenda like there's no way like no that's stupid um i mean i don't really know too much about the situation because i don't really care about politics but there's that's just all bullshit all the conspiracies are always fucking bullshit there's no way any clinton would risk their their career and their image to uh, to do that to like sneak someone out of prison or like kill somebody. There's no way. I mean, the Clintons don't don't really have the best image at the moment, but or they never really did. But still, they're not gonna risk going to prison to do something like that. But then again, I don't really know politics, so I'm just speaking about I'm just speaking on common sense more so than anything else. Mixer. Yes, I was. I streamed on it for uh, a week, and we're still gonna stream on it. Yeah, I see. We're still gonna stream on it, alternating between the two. I'm surprised with the amount of people who had no idea that I had streamed on Mixer. I mean, I tweet out that I started streaming on Mixer, so I feel like if you watch my YouTube channel, going on Twitter is like a pretty, you know, hand-in-hand -hand thing. But I guess, uh, I guess it's not true. I thought it was a hand-in-hand -hand thing. I thought everyone who goes on YouTube also uses Twitter, but I suppose it's wrong. There's some shady shit going on with that. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Love you. Thank you for taking care of our goblin for us. He has definitely changed for the better this last couple of months. You make him parts in the chat for Kim. Thank you. Love you too. Parts in the chat. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that, homie. Fucking hi. Yeah, believe it or not, I got some big things coming. You guys will just have to wait and see, but I got some big things coming. And you can interpret that however you want. I enjoyed the movie stream. It was entertaining, thank you, dude. Appreciate that, bro. Not a bad driver, but I can't because it's fucking. No, we just won't. 
the, the phone is blocked by the by the thing holding it against. I don't know. What do you mean? I'm just Come driving. On. You like just don't know how to drive. What do you mean, dude? Oh my god. What? Do they see you like when? I don't know. I'm literally driving straight. Nobody believes that. What do you mean? I would show it, but I can't. And we have to make another I just, exit. Like everyone has been a car with you. You just said I was a, with me. You said I was a better driver than EBZ. That's really not saying much. <laughs> I think EBZ is a great person, but I am so scared when he's driving. Watch out. I almost missed this turn here one second. This is wrong way. We can't. No, that's the other side. This side is the way we're supposed to go. I almost missed that turn, dude. <laughs> Jesus. You're just, you, you, I'm getting distracted. You're distracting me. I can't listen to the bad driving monologue. It's okay. I just want to, like, pull over. Okay. Alright, you're just tell me where I'm supposed to go. We've been in a car for six hours and 12 hours just to make chat, so we're both a little, uh, irritated about, I'm sorry. about I'm driving. I'm sorry, guys. It's just, I'm sorry. I mean, she's scared of my driving. It's fine. She can't deal with a great driver like myself. I wanted to take her on like a track that you can go around like a, in the fast car. She did not want to do that oh either. Gosh, she wants to kill me. She didn't, she, wanted, she didn't want to do that. I think it's fun. Driving on a racetrack is fun. You gotta tell me where to go. Yeah, you can go straight for 141 miles. Alright, so I gotta pull over right here then. No, 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 it's fine. Just go. You wanna drive? Yeah, we'll take an, an exit, not on the side of There's not even anywhere to pull over! It's an emergency lane. What do you mean? Started, uh, as well, hello, Paul. It's me, Rose Jenny. We have inducted Snoopy. We and the other roaches have infested your living room completely. We have one demand. All right. If you want Snoopy, bring us black ball bananas to us. Okay, thank you, dude. Uh, he's already back in LA, so I can't. Well, I started off as a solo streamer for two and a half years, so I think I can continue that trend. But I do want to do the EU trip with some people, just not the people that, uh, We've done done it with before, so if you like that kind of shit, then you might be seeing some more of it. We'll have to see them. Here, let me. Anyone who says that <laughs> that I need a supporting cast, just I don't know. You must obviously be a new viewer. But we'll see. All right, there's no exit for many many miles, so you if you. There's a sign right there that says. Okay. A, an exit in one mile. All right. Many, many miles. All right. One. Well, <laughs> okay, do you, do you want, I can just, I'll pull over on this exit just, and you exit. can drive. Okay. I'd Are you going to drive for seven and a half hours? No, I'll drive as long as you're streaming. So, what if I stream for seven and a half hours? Then I will. Is that just a good way for me not to drive? Because I fucking hate driving, so if you could drive the whole time, that'd be great. All right, guys, seven and a half hour stream coming right up. That's fine. I just don't want to die. We're not gonna. When I've never crashed before. When have I ever died? You're right, or I'm right. Never. So we're good. Don't worry.
All right, we're gonna switch real quick, Chuck. So I need this mirror to drive. So can you tape it to like this one? So I put it on a phone holder, it's gonna vibrate the whole time. I don't wanna fucking hold my phone like this though, this is cancer. I wish I had a fucking stick. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Do you think that gas station has a selfie stick? Yeah. Yeah, let's go inside. Let me go in this gas station real quick. You're not gonna leave me, right? The, the man that's trying I'm to just, kill me? I'm no, gonna, I'm oh just, my gosh, no. I I'm going to stream guys, for the I'm next going... seven hours so I don't have to drive. You should stream outside the gas station and see how long it takes for someone to come pick you up. Yo, for real? That sounds like a good idea. But they're not going to drive me to Texas. No, they will. Don't you worry about them. I'll go get Snoopy and um, you see how long it takes to, you know, come join me. All right, that sounds good with me. All right. All right, love you. <sighs> All right, so actually my wallet's in her car. Let me, let me see if they have a selfie stick, actually. Hold on. So I don't have to hold the fucking phone the entire time. She gets so scared of my driving. I was going straight the whole time. Going 80 in the 70. It's the fucking highway, though, so it's... Everyone does that. She's so scared of like fast, fast speeds. <laughs> she thinks that we're gonna, she has, like, she always thinks imminent death is coming immediately every time. Do you guys have selfie sticks? Do you have a selfie stick? Do you have this? A selfie stick for the phone? Like a, uh, Joe? like a selfie. Oh, uh, no, no. Okay, thank you. All right, I guess I'll figure it out then. Fuck, it's the only gas station in fucking thousands of miles, so it's fine. Whatever, dude. Stuck. Selfie stick in Arkansas, dude. Why not? I mean, why the fuck not? What do you mean? Selfie sticks are not rare. Everyone has them. Actually, I just remembered something. Hold on. I just remembered that I brought I brought my backpack with me. I'm pretty sure that has a selfie stick. My gaming headphones. I have uh, some other things. Yes, I was right. <sighs> Selfie stick. All right, I always have these things with me wherever I go because you never know when you need to <sighs> listen to good music with your headphones or what, or stream with the stick or what. All right, let me tighten this. Okay. There you go. Shake from Sonic is not making me feel good. Honestly. Alrighty. Turn this light on. Hey, you don't need my side. That's, well, it's kind of going to make it a lot brighter. Put the seatbelt on. Alright. Seven hours, dude. I don't know how streamers fucking drive without the vibration we hear it from their car. That's fucking weird to me. But uh, driving and streaming is. I mean, it makes the drive a lot more fun, that's for fucking sure, I do have to say. But to be honest, Kimberly, I don't think you're a better driver than me. I 100% am. No, 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 I don't think so. I think that I am one of the best drivers that you have ever been with. You're not. Like, absolutely not. Out of the two of us, she's crashed and I haven't. Ah, that's what they all say. I mean, you can look it up. I'm sure there's like records. I'm just kidding, but 
still. I, oh, actually, I did crash the Hummer into somebody's car on accident, but it was going two miles an hour. But I guess I guess I did I crash the last. The last okay, doesn't, so wait, wait, doesn't so count. Your argument was that you've never crashed a car, and I have, but actually I didn't. You have. So by your terms, I'm the better driver. Crashed into a bird scooter. I mean, she's not better than me, but she can drive. I, I wouldn't say that I'm a great driver, but I'm better than him. How was EBZ guest in your home? Would you ever have him back? Also, yes. Uh, I mean, EBZ was a fine guest. He was a good guest. Why not? He, he cleaned the microwave. He did the dishes. He did all that. He's a good dude, so why not? right now so the members don't get fucked so let me do that driving stream and then you're surprised when it's a driving stream. <laughs> the title says a driving stream, you know what I mean? And somebody was like, oh you're driving right now. I'm like, dude, where you clicked on a title that said the driving stream. Yeah I know but uh fucking I know that I haven't really done anything for the members for in like the past week because it was streaming on Mixer. It's very unfortunate. I wish that there was, I wish there was a way to connect things together so it could all like work out. But if I got partnered on Mixer, then I could just give free subs. I think I can just give people subs. I can post a link in the chat. People can redeem a sub for free. So I suppose if you're a member here and then you go on Mixer and you watch, then I'll, I can gift you a free sub for the month. That's, that's only for a month though. Otherwise, I'm paying six dollars a month. You know, for hundreds of subs, which would be ridiculous. I mean, the Mixer's chat room is like the main thing that I like about it. Everyone there is really nice. And everyone, everyone, and like it's just a better, like, developed better. Like, it's coded better. It's fucking, YouTube chat has like a delay. It's like weird. But, you know, when I stream on YouTube, obviously it's going to be a lot of good stuff for the members. So, otherwise people just get fucked. Because obviously I, I like Mixer, but I don't want to fuck the members. And I don't really know how to stream on Mixer and not fuck people who pay for memberships. So I have no I, I don't know how to do that. Mixer is nothing but lame. CX spam. Little kid trying to level up. Yeah, I was trying to add some bots into my chat to try to stop the, the leveling up and the spam. Obviously it might take some time to figure out and fine tune it to how to get people to stop doing that, but, you know, we got some bots in the chat, so. But I, I can't turn off the XP in the chat. I thought I could, but I, don't, I actually can't, so, you know, that's where bots come in, like chat bots. What do chat bots do? The chat bot will make it so people can't spam certain things, uh, hopefully, so, you know, they'll stop the spamming in the chat. Mixer's chat is garbage. What's so? What's garbage about it? I'm trying to see like what's bad about it because I don't see the bad that people are saying that they see. 
I think it's a very good chat, besides the spam. But I mean, even YouTube chat has fucking spam. I mean, before I put it on members only mode, there was spam in this chat right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Too much spam and gifts and all this stuff flying around the screen. Well, I can turn all that shit off flying around the screen, but I definitely like to leave the, gif the gifts on. The gifts are very nice. The only problem that I see is the spam, honestly. It's so busy and tacky with no conversation at all. I think that comes from the spam, though. I mean, when I used to stream on Twitch, my god, it was only spam. There was no conversation, or there was no... Why do you attribute the most enraged people like Laura and shout out to offline chat, Joey? I don't know, I mean, I guess it's just because I'm... Why do you attract the most enraged people like Laura and shout out to offline chat, Joey? I guess I'm a little deranged myself then, that's why. I mean, I, I guess, I don't really know. But, you know, it is what it is. If Laura falls in love with me, it is what it is. I guess I'm just irresistible, what can I say? <laughs> just kidding, but I mean, I mean, she knows it. Why do you think Laura loves me? Because she was catfish. Yeah, but why do you think she loves me? Because she was catfish. Yeah, like yeah, but she... Well, when the, there's like a handsome, funny guy catfishing you and like talking to you every day, like you're she's not she's around him. plenty of handsome, funny guys. Yeah. So why why am I the one who gets her love? I'm not playing this game. I mean, I'm just from a, like a girl <laughs> from a girl's perspective. You know what I mean? I, just, I do. I don't understand because you guys did not really have conversations in LA, but. I've never talked to her, yeah. so I, you know, it's just weird, for us. so I thought from a girl's perspective, you would know, but, um, yeah, but when I was on Twitch, it was only spam, like, my chat was so AIDS on Twitch, so, you know, consider, uh, the YouTube chat, the Mixer chat is lucky, <laughs> because there is far less spam, I mean, my whole Twitch chat was literally tryhards, and tryhard and pogchamp, that's all it was. But I guess it's part of the culture, so it's different, it's fun. Like, it, it makes more sense, because it's different. I prefer, and I think most people would prefer, emote spam, than fucking weird-ass sentences and shit being spammed, honestly. I don't know. I do like the, the chat culture on Twitch, obviously. It is by far the best chat culture, with all the emotes that they have. But somebody was developing a bot that was in my chat. His name is Scuff Dev. He was to Mixer. So if you used to watch me on Twitch and you liked using all those emotes, and we can, uh, we'd be able to use all. Yeah, like I said, it's gonna lag a little bit here in their chat. So just bear with me. Mixer on mobile is horrible. You can't scroll up to read old messages. Yeah, mo mobile on Mixer is not the best, but hopefully, you know, it can get better because the staff do take um, consideration from the streamers and the viewers. They do take in account to all that shit. The X in the chat. Like, when people suggest things to the staff, they reply. They actually reply and they say, that's a good idea. We'll try to implement this. So that's a good start already. Thank you, Yellow Rose. I appreciate that, homie. Apologies. Here's your apology, what is this? You know what? It's apology time. You know what? On top of that, I guess beside I came off of you way too fucking strong. I said a lot of shit I shouldn't have said. You know, I think it needs to happen in some ways, but I said a lot of shit I shouldn't have said and I should have done that in private. My apologies for that too. So, okay. Well, that was nice of him. Hey, at least he, uh, at least he can apologize. That's good. Do you know, sometimes, sometimes I wish when people, like, apologize on stream, like, I wish they would have said it to you. You know what I mean? Like, off stream. Like, I almost feel like it, it's more meaningful. If they, like, apologize first to you, and then they'll go on stream and be like, I just want to reiterate, like, you know, I did say this, and then say that? What do you think? 
theoretically apologizing. Or my, I might be thinking too much of things. I, I mean, the, theoretically apologizing in DMs is the best way to go, but. And I'm not criticizing his apology. Uh, I'm a, just a, an apology is still an apology nonetheless. So you know, that's all. You know, that's all that matters. It doesn't really. It doesn't. I, think, I mean, doing it publicly is. I feel like it might take more balls. You know. Especially, I, especially, I don't know. especially. I Especially because the people that he's surrounded by uh, fucking hate my guts. So for him to say that takes a lot of balls, so I appreciate it. You didn't play the entire clip, he goes on to talk trash about Gary. Well, I don't know what his and Gary's uh, dispute is about, so I can't really comment on that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what their, what, what their issue is there, but probably something stupid. But that's fine. But no, I think Mixer does have a good opportunity for growth. I know somebody in the chat said Ninja went from like fucking 68,000 viewers to 12,000, but like, the fewer numbers, especially when you go to a new platform, doesn't really mean anything, because as long as the platform grows, you rebuild your viewership. You know what I mean? So, obviously Mixer is an investment for anybody who's streaming out there. And, uh, like I said, with all this drama that's going on right now, Mixer is getting a lot of, you know, attention, so it's not a bad thing to grow a channel on, on that website, at least right now. Now, six months from now, we'll see how the shit, how everything plays out, but for now, it's an investment, and in six months, we can see whether or not investment is going to work out or not. I don't know if there's organic viewers on Mixer. That that was that was my major concern as well. But you know, like I said, it's still short term. In six months, we, we that's when everyone will really see if Mixer has grown at all or if it's stagnant. You know, bringing Ninja over is brought it so much attention. So, and it's not a bad platform. So we'll just see how it goes. I mean, I saw Kiefer's and some other streamers that were streaming on Mixer that typically would stream on Twitch. So. Um, you know, it's getting there, so we'll see. YouTube's closer to Twitch with an audience than Mixer is. Yeah, but YouTube's dog shit. <laughs> so, YouTube gives no support to their streaming whatsoever. They don't update shit. They will never update shit for streaming, it seems like. Um, there's no support from the staff, YouTube staff, uh, for streamers or YouTubers or anything. Even the big YouTubers don't get support from YouTube. So, I mean, YouTube's not a great platform for the community. Uh, and like for most communities if, as a live streamer because they have no community support whatsoever. The only good thing that YouTube had going for it was streaming with So far Mixer hasn't been that good. Was the trending section. More often when you do a on Mixer than YouTube. Chat is full of spam for level ups. Notifications are horrible, no joke. You gotta lose viewers and members. Yeah, the notifications are bad, but you know, hopefully that's something they can fix over time. It's an investment, I'm willing to take that investment. Um, and then the spam I can fix with bots. I already added a bunch of bots in the chat, so hopefully I'll fix it, but <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we'll see how it all plays out. What do you think of the conversation with Tip a few nights ago at Mixer? He had a lot to say about his experiences. I thought the conversation with Tip was pretty good. You know what I mean? I don't think it was bad. I think it was, it was very interesting to hear Tip's uh, perspective on everything, for sure, being in like a similar boat as me. YouTube has a huge audience, plus they seem to be updating all the time. I don't know. YouTube has a huge audience, sure, but it's there's no community management tools for the streamer. You know what I mean? So there's no way to moderate your community to make it uh, healthy. You, you ban someone on the YouTube chat, they can just make a new account, and that's fucking terrible, you know what I mean? That isn't, you can't moderate the fucking chat. And, uh, you know, they have no trending section for live streams. That was the only thing that they had going for it that was really good. But they, they fucking took it away, so that's, you know, really demotivating. Guess you're not on YouTube much anymore. Well, I mean, I'm going to alternate between the two. Like, to grow on YouTube, you need to post highlight videos, and, you know, I don't like that. I like to be able to stream and grow that way. I don't want to have to post fucking highlight videos to grow my channel because I'm not a video maker, I'm a live streamer, so 
That seems a little counterproductive. Yo, what's up, Latino kid? How you doing, bro? I think YouTube will get better, but I don't know. I enjoy the platform in the chat. It works. It does work, but it could be so much better, dude. I just like that Mixer has, like they're in on the streaming scene, you know what I mean? They are in. They know what the fuck they're talking about, they know what the fuck they're doing. They're in on everything, they go to all the events, they go to There's no grow on Mixer, we're not going up on viewers, er, going down. Ninja has lost a lot of viewers, the only difference is he doesn't care cause he got 80 million dollars in exchange for that you have not. Like I said, Mixer is an investment and I hope they make the right moves to grow their platform. I mean, Twitch, when it first started, was also a very small platform that they didn't really have much going for it. And then, you know, Amazon bought it and they started advertising the fuck out of it. And now, you know, Twitch is one of the, it's the biggest streaming platform. So I think uh, Microsoft, being a huge company as well, if they make the right moves, they can grow Mixer. I mean, you go into any Microsoft store and they push the fuck out of it. You go to, you know, you log into Xbox, it's the default thing to watch, you know. The main issue with Mixer not growing at the moment is they have lack of streamers, lack of content, lack of, you know, things to watch on there. If you don't like Fortnite, there's no reason to go on Mixer, because they only have fucking Fortnite streamers. But, over time, hopefully, that shit can grow. For example, if I stream IRL on Mixer, hopefully, I can host other people that are in the IRL section on Mixer, because... That's what I said I was going to do. Every time I turn my stream off, I host somebody in the IRL section. And even if they've never streamed with Mixer before, I host them. They might stream with them on there now. They might get new followers. That's how you start a new thing going. You know what I mean? I, I can use my, my platform to push other people to grow their channel on Mixer uh, in the IRL section. And that's kind of like the plan there. I mean, I did it on YouTube. You know what I mean? All these fucking streamers on YouTube that do IRL. I mean, I started all of that shit, so I can do it on Mixer as well. In like a more healthy way. The viewers are hella impatient, you're not getting instant growth. It takes a year to see significant growth. I mean, you can get pretty good growth pretty quick, depending on how you do stuff. It might be good for new streamers since most of the people streaming are using their default Xbox settings. See, that's good, yeah. And when Halo comes out, that's going to be a, a huge push for it as well. You know, if I, somebody, people ask if I'm ever going to start like a CX network or something again. If I ever do start a new network, it's going to probably be on Mixer because they have a TOS. So, uh, first of all, I'm not held responsible for the stupid shit that other people do. Um, you know, if someone breaks TOS, then they just get banned. With YouTube not really having TOS, that ends up with me being uh, the one who's responsible for growing, you know, other people in the end. You know, even right now, if Blade, I go on live stream fails and there's a clip of Blade, if he says something stupid, um, people in the comments are still like, oh yeah, he came from fucking CX or like Ice Poseidon and this and that, and it's like... I don't like that, you know, I don't want to be the one who, who gets the, I don't want to be reflected by that shit, so, I think growing an IRL network on Mixer would be a good move, not only for their site, but, you know, for me as well. It'd be good to collaborate with other streams on Mixer or miss the community. Yeah, I mean, except they all stream Fortnite, so I would have to push some people to stream IRL on there, which is, like I said, the goal here. I love you. Keep streaming. You're an inspiration. Thank you, Chris. So I appreciate that, dude. Start slow and do it right. You're still young. You can go a long way. Go the way of Stern if you will try. Oh, yeah, Chrome. I'm... I, I'm I'm working towards something, that's for sure. Like I said, I have some, uh, I have some, uh, big things, or, <laughs> I have some things coming, uh, in the next few months. You just, uh, just wait, you just sit back and wait, you'll see. It's gonna be very interesting to see how it all goes. You can't really escape the past, and you shouldn't really, it was what you built up. 
you can grow without abandoning your past completely. I'm not trying to escape the past. I totally uh, take responsibility for everything in the past. Um, I'm just using that, that blade thing as an example as like, if I grow a new network, it's gonna be under a platform where I'm not gonna have to get most of the flack. You know, if someone fucks up, that's on their own doing. That's not, you know, it's not because of me. Don't abandon your past people like me who've been watching you since Twitch to support your scuff self. Yeah, I mean, I'm not abandoning my past. I'm obviously trying to work towards, uh, you know, a cleaner image at the moment. So I don't want to, uh, you know, do things that I have done in the past. So I'm not forgetting about it. I'm just not going back down that route. You know what I mean? I've learned a lot in the past two years, and there's a better way to go at things than how I've went at it for sure. People might be like... Uh, you know, some people might hate me for that now and be like, oh, this is stupid. You're fucking killing your fucking career, this and that. But, you know, everything is temporary. And uh, in the long run, it's a better move. You know, manage anything. I'm not trying to, I'm not going for a PG, G-rated, family-friendly sort of vibe. That's not what I'm going for, but, you know, I'm just trying not to be the pub, I'm not trying to go down the public disturbance vibe. shit without the the toxic shit like that's all you know basically what i was how it was like on twitch sort of you know on twitch it was very non-toxic besides when i got swatted on the fucking plane obviously but most of and, and some other things but most of my content on twitch is very non-toxic just very wacky and you know things like that and then on youtube it got pretty fucking toxic pretty quick so you know if i could do the wacky without the toxic that'd be Mixer might be setting up for a big move, not a bad idea to have your feet on the ground. Yeah, I mean, Mixer's an investment, so we'll see how that goes. Are you more happy with less toxicity in your life? Dude, it's so much better. Before, I would be afraid to do anything. I would be walking on fucking eggshells. If I do something that the viewers didn't like, it, I would be scolded, and I would it would make me feel so bad. I would put all my energy into something, and then i get scolded for whatever, you know, and, you know, all the people around me that were doing fucking weird-ass toxic shit as well, you know, and then myself doing fucking weird-ass toxic shit, it just ends up with no when happiness. When we see tracksuit in, in London, tell him we miss him. Also, UK lore is a slow dude's only with Mexican Andy to make Seawalk Andy jealous. Who the fuck is Seawalk Andy? 
the only way you will see some growth on Mixer is if you reopen the CX network with a non-toxic cast around you. Means events therefore it will make you unique and attract new viewers. Thank you Johnny Boy, and thank you Johnny Doe. Yeah, I mean, you know, like... have to miss LA if you go back with all the toxicity surrounding you, it'll bring big things. I mean, I don't really miss LA. A lot of the people in LA are pretty, you know, toxic, so. A lot of, like, you know, a lot of things about LA, the vibe of LA is just a little toxic, so I like it. But we're in the middle of the woods, and the bitrate's not... You're awesome, Mr. Ice. Right, I lowered the bit rate, so hopefully that's that helps the lag. But I don't know, it's gonna lag for a while, I think, because we are in the middle of the woods here. Until we get to Texas, I think it might be pretty, uh, pretty hit or miss. But we'll see. LA is amazing if you're not around non if you're around non scumbag people. Like I said, maybe one day we go back, but you know, for right now, I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to go back right now. It's not a good. It's not the move at the moment. There's still too many. It's still too soon. There's too many things in LA that are things that I'm trying to get away from that exist. So I'd rather not go back at the moment. I just don't want to sound like a leech, but I'd love to talk to you off stream one day. Uh, yeah, just DM me on Twitter, dude. Red, just let me know. How come your future plans are so under wraps? Can you reveal a little bit? I mean, like I said, Roku, we've got some big things coming. I'd rather not say talk about it, though, because there's no reason to talk about something until it actually happens, because otherwise people get their hopes up, and if it doesn't happen, then everyone gets let down. So I'd rather just say the thing the things when it happens. Yeah, the studio is still a thing, don't worry. Yo, what's up, Psych? How you doing, bro? Are there any confirmation cast members for the RV trip? Um, well, I mean, if I did an R if I did like a road trip in Europe, it'd probably be people like Grimoire, Gary, EBZ, you know, maybe Tracksuit, you know, people like that. So I think that would be good. Going throughout all of Europe with, uh, you know, some good people, not some, not people that are gonna, you know, pee on on everything and act weird. It's been a crazy past few years. So glad I was here. Yeah, it's been pretty crazy, but it's, <laughs> it's still gonna get crazy, don't worry. This shit's still shit's gonna it's just you just gotta wait and see. There's not much uh, competition in the live streaming world. You know what I mean? You have, like most streamers don't really do that much, except for, you know, some gaming and, you know, reacting to stuff and this and that. So there's not that much, to, like, going on. So it's not very hard to uh, make good content, because the bar for content is extremely low, at least for live streaming, for the most part. Have you any plan to go to China? I mean, probably not China. I need a visa for China, and I don't really think... I don't want to get a visa right now. And there's not really... What the fuck is there to do in China that I can't do in Korea or Japan? Thank you, Chrome. I appreciate that, bro. We should do an IRL stream with Rockfall in Austin. Um, like I said, I don't really want to do IRL in Austin too much, but we'll see. See what happens. Quality is low. I know the quality.
Quality's low right now. We're in the middle of nowhere, so it's going to be kind of low, so it doesn't lag. EBC has some issues, but he's a good dude. <laughs> I mean, hey, he is a good dude, but he needs to control some of the things that he goes that he does. Smart dude, I'm pretty stoked for the future brakes. Yeah, I mean, do you guys think that some of the moves that I've been making for the past couple months are stupid moves or smart moves? Because I think that I'm doing what I need to do to establish myself in a good way <laughs> and not a bad way. And you know, if things don't work out, then hey, at least I tried. CX in the chat. But I, I would much rather try and take a risk to establish myself correctly as opposed to doing it. Because that route was not going to end anywhere good. I mean, fuck, I have PTSD and anxiety and all this different shit that going on in my head now. Um, uh, you know, there were so many issues that I was dealing with every day. Like, I just didn't want to go down that route anymore. So... You know, a wise man once said, when you take a risk, if you fail, at least you learn something. But then if you succeed, it's a win-win. So if I succeed, I'm happy. If I fail, I learn something. So that's all that matters. Bring back good girl shy. We need some milk. Bring back good girl shy. No. Okay, well, I love you. Yeah, she's, she's in Texas. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Joey. I appreciate that, dudes. I'm now two dollars short of Bring box. Bring back good girl, shy we need milk. Hey, yeah, collab. Alright, it's pretty light. used to the stuff that I used to do, you know, and I, 
and when I don't do that anymore, it, it makes sense that they would hate. You know, it's like a rapper who changes up his style of music, you know. Skrillex, for example. Skrillex went from crazy dubstep to pop. I'm sure a lot of Skrillex's fans were like, alright, why the fuck are you doing pop? I came for dubstep. So, it might be something like that. similar, you know. Like I said, I'm not really too worried about it. There's not the bar for content as a streamer is very, very low. So it's not a big deal. I can't do a complete 180. People are gonna be upset. I mean that is true. Uh, let me see if I have lowered it. Let me lower the bit rate again. Because I mean pretty low, but let me lower it in more. So, we'll try this. Alright, so the quality is obviously going to be bad right now, but hopefully it should lag less. Now, it's going down lower than what it, the app will let me set. The app I can only let me set it to 700 bit rate, and it's going down to like 400 right now. Do have been stream on Mixer like this month and see how many viewers do you attract. Well, if I do that, Hamad, all those people, they must, they, they have to stream on Mixer. Because I would, they, if I'm streaming on Mixer and someone else is streaming on YouTube, since the TOS is different, I don't want someone to get me banned on Mixer if they're streaming on YouTube, so they would all have to follow the same TOS. Which is not a bad thing, you know, I really think that we can grow something pretty big on Mixer, or, you know, at least pretty niche, like we can have our own little thing on Mixer, just like, uh, just like we did on YouTube, basically, and I don't think it'd be that hard either, because like I said, there's not really much content in the live streaming world. Been watching since you walked around, in a giant inflatable ball, just wanted to say thank you for inspiring me to put myself out there and take chances in life no matter how small they are. <laughs> wow, thank you, Beast Boy. Holy shit. That was very nice of you. Wow. Yeah, the ball was really fucking dope. Holy fuck. Thank you for the one hundred dollars, dude. That's very oh my gosh. <laughs> that was very nice of you. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, it's uh it's gonna continue. We could do the ball thing again, you know. That's uh that was really interesting. No, that was fucking dope. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. You, you make me want to want to do the ball thing again now. That that was a lot of fun. It was just it was a lot of energy it took out of me, but it was a lot of fun. I mean that could be a good thing to do on Mixer as well. Cause that's pretty unique and that'd get people over. Can you do RV stream on YouTube, please? Mixer TOS is too SJW for good content. Um, I mean, it's not really SJW. The only thing on Mixer's TOS is. There just can't well, be. Well, you should talk to them. If you're gonna do this DVH, the time is now while the pan is hot, don't wait on it. All the people curious about Mixer now will cook on you and might become fans. That is true. Thank you, Hamad, and thank you again, Beast Boy. I appreciate that, homie. Yeah, no, that's, that is true. The, the, the pan for Mixer is hot right now. That is 100% true, so we're gonna have to do some stuff. But, um, what was I gonna say? Fucking. I don't remember what I was gonna, I don't remember what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Yeah, I mean, if we do the RV stream, or yeah, the, the Mixers TOS, the only thing about Mixers TOS that's different than YouTube is that you can't be an, a, a complete racist, you know what I mean? Uh, I think when I did my RV trip on YouTube, the only thing that broke Mixers TOS was everyone who had fucking media on, and their media was saying the N-word, or like, fucking, you know, this and that, the Alex fucking Keemstar video. Like, besides that, nothing else broke TOS. So I don't really understand how their TOS is SJW. 
as long as you can just not be a total degenerate and you know you can do exactly the same stuff on Mixer that you can do on YouTube. Racist media is how everyone makes their money. Well, I mean, I don't make my money from racist media. Maybe like two and a half years ago, but not anymore. Or like three years. Back in 2015, I did that. Yeah, it's in the chat. It's not 2015 anymore, though. I don't, I don't need to do that to make money. Thank you, Aiden. I appreciate that, homie. You're right, I should get a streaming schedule. When I travel, I have a schedule. When I travel, I'm pretty consistent. The only time I'm not consistent is when I'm sitting at home. Because uh, I just have, like, no idea what to do. But when I travel, I pretty much go live almost every day. I mean, on, when we were in Japan, I think I only didn't stream, like, two days, right? The racist media sometimes is funny. I mean, the racist media definitely has has had its moments, but that's not something that I do anymore. That was like a 2015 thing. And by this point, it's just beating a dead horse. I don't think it's funny anymore. I think it's outplayed. I think it's stupid. I think back in 2015 was when it thrived, and now it's pretty dry at this point. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what you guys think. Japan vlog on a crazy, pretty good schedule. Yeah, no, it was pretty good. How are you feeling? How's the drive going? The drive is awful. We've been in a car. Yesterday was 12 hours of driving. Today we've been in a car for like eight hours already, so I want to die. <laughs> I mean, I feel like shit. You should do it in my two weeks. Advertise everywhere and just do an event or something for a day or two. Go all out. Have this lead you into the Europe stream. New people will get interested. Yeah, that's a good point, Ahmad. I mean, if we do an RV trip in Europe, there will obviously be some heavy advertising there. <laughs> because that would be a huge, uh, a huge thing to put together, so... looking for RVs right now and or like vans or like something that is not gonna cost me twenty thousand dollars to go around Europe in so we'll see how it goes. Like shit I'd be willing to buy a fucking like a scuffed ass vehicle for Europe, fucking use it and then when we're done using it just fucking destroy it and then you know leave it or give it to a viewer or something. And then leave it. Cause I know renting uh, renting RVs are, are bullshit. They scam they scam the fuck out of you.
pronouncing her name. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, I'm saying that that the porn thing was was unfortunate, obviously. It was fucking weird. Um, but I don't know if that was the right move for Ninja to make that video. Because I don't know what his plans in the future are going to be. I feel like Ninja did it because viewership's declining and he needs relevancy in news to maintain it or grow his fan base. Ninja does not need to worry about relevancy. Even if Ninja was 2,000 viewers on Mixer, he would still be the most relevant live streamer in the world. I mean, viewer count doesn't really matter about relevancy. He still has a platform, you know? He still has millions of followers on Twitter, millions of followers on Instagram, you know, 14 million followers on Twitch. Viewership doesn't matter when you have that kind of platform, you know what I mean? Because at any point, Ninja could tweet something that is interesting, and that would boost up his viewer count tenfold. So as long as you have a platform, viewer numbers don't really mean anything. But yeah, it is weird that Twitch advertised other streams and did all that under Ninja's name. It was just that. That was weird. And I think they could have definitely done it differently without getting all, you know, all the backlash. Sam Pepper has 10 million subs in his career as a show, but it used to be. I mean, Sam Pepper's not Ninja, though. Ninja has 22 million subscribers on YouTube. I mean, 22 mil is gonna completely outweigh 2 million. And I think Sam... I saw you in 2016 and I wasn't interested. Then I saw you randomly on YouTube one night and HSB with TSA and others trying to get it right. I laughed a little day I became a... I found you from Burger sniping you. First video I watched was the astronaut suit driving a Lambo in Easter Bunny suit thanks to the years of content. And Sam Pepper's a different story, you know what I mean? Like, he stopped YouTube for like two years or something. Like, he, he went off the map for a while, so it's a little different. Ninja, Ninja continues to post and do things every single day, so. Did you see that deer? I did not. Yeah, there are deer here, you gotta watch out. Yo, good night, Red. See you later, bro. quality I can put on my stream. <laughs> it's just, uh, if, it goes, if it lags still, then there's nothing I can really do about it. Do a stream with some Austin locals. I mean, the Austin locals are either crackheads or people that aren't in the entertainment industry, so there's not much for the locals in Austin. Have you changed since the mansion days? I mean, uh, that's not really for me to say, you know, that's how, how I've changed is however viewers perceive really more like, you know, I mean. let me try this. What happened that one night with that guy and girl? There were Zeus. Hopefully, it's not gonna drop me off at the hotel. That's all. Nothing too crazy. They weren't that weird. They were just, you know, starstruck a little bit, I think. So, not really a big deal. But like I was saying to that guy's comment, he said, "How do you? How do I think I've changed since the mansion days?" That's really a perception thing. You know, that's for you guys to decide. That's, that's not for me to be able to tell you. I mean, how do you think I've changed during the mansion days? You know, because a perception thing is, 
is how other people will see me. It's not how I see myself. Because how I see myself isn't really much different. It's just the actions that I'm doing is different. But the perception that I think of myself hasn't changed. The scene is that you've been greatly humbled since. Well, that's nice. That's nice of you to say, Marcus. Thank you. I've uh, I try to try and fix the media. I tried. I have no idea how to fix it. I don't know. I think it's 